To understand the strong sense of dedication to helping Alaskans that has guided the Rasmussen Foundation for the past 60 years, you need to reach back even further to 1903, when a young Swedish immigrant, Edward Rasmussen, arrived in Yakutat as a missionary and teacher. There, he met and married Jenny Olson, a young Swedish girl working at the mission. Together, as teachers, missionaries, and community volunteers, they developed a strong family tradition of charity, giving of themselves and their resources to help improve the quality of life for their neighbors. My family believed very strongly in the uh, idea of returning to the communities some of the fruits that we uh, were privileged to harvest. Elmer always felt that uh, Alaska had been wonderful to him and to his mother and father and that um, he felt that he wanted to give something back. My mother wanted to start a foundation in honor of my father. That foundation is a means whereby uh, we can funnel uh, grants. The amount that we could give at that time was, you know, we'd give $500 to somebody to, <laughs> to do some little bit in their uh, nonprofit organization. From the first donation of $125 for a movie projector, the foundation has grown its grant-making budget to more than $20 million annually. The inspiration that led to this successful growth strategy came from a casual conversation. I remember one time when the oil boom was first starting in Alaska and I used to travel down to what they call the oil patch, Texas and so on, and I was calling on a a uh, wealthy Texan there, and I got, I mentioned uh, a name of a, an individual who was quite a real estate owner. And I mentioned that to this gentleman that I was talking with, uh, the real estate, real estate, he just sniffed. He said, you can't own more than six feet. Well, I feel the same way. I asked myself, well, how important will this be a hundred years from now? And that changes the perspective quite a bit. And he kept telling the foundation, you have to start planning to look into the future of what you're going to do when this expands. We had no idea what that expansion would be. So it was really amazing to think that it could develop as it is today. We're all just trustees, you know, uh, on this land for a relatively short period of time. It's our pleasure to be able to participate in this helping. The belief in charity and promoting a better life for Alaskans, inspired by Edward and Jenny Rasmussen, continues strong in the family today and remains the driving philosophy behind the foundation.